Hi Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what could have been. So the reading here is tailored to those of you that had a special person in your life, but the two of you ended up going separate ways for whatever reason. So we want to take a look and see what the cards predict for you, how the two of you stayed together. So look, maybe this is the one that got away from for you, maybe this is the one you could have had, maybe this is the one you, you know, you had plans and intentions to build a future with this person, but for whatever reason, there is something here that got in the way here. So we want to see what could have happened, what could have transpired, had the two of you stayed together, had time or life in general just being a little bit more kind here. This is going to be general, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle and we'll see what could have been had you stayed together. Okay, if this is someone who did ghost you or who did disappear from your life, then I feel like this person has or will return, okay? So if this is someone if this is someone who's ghosted you, then I feel like the ghost or the vanisher will come back into your life or they had come back. Or I feel like for some of you, if you didn't change your number or for some of you, I feel like this person did come back into your into the picture, but maybe some of you you weren't ready to give this person a second go just yet. That's the message that I'm picking up. With the Eight of Swords, I mean, you, this was this is a very stagnated kind of energy, okay? And this is someone who takes on a victim mentality. So this person that you were dealing with, I feel like they did succumb to the pressures of victimhood. And I feel like this is someone who always felt like things were happening against them and things were happening to them instead of for them and i also feel like this is someone who, who was very afraid to take the next steps in your relationship this person i feel like had a lot of insecurities that really plagued them and as a result those insecurities or fears or anxieties is what drove them away at the end of the day because i feel like with the eight of swords they weren't ready here for some of you you definitely wanted to move this connection forward i mean you wanted to build a life with this person you felt like this is someone you were destined you know you were destined to meet and you were destined to connect and you felt like this person was your destiny but unfortunately and sadly it just so happened that this person wasn't ready for all the plans that you had envisioned for you know the both of you here I'm also seeing that for whatever reason this person felt really restricted or it could be you but someone felt really restricted in this circumstance like in their circumstances they felt as though they didn't have a lot of wiggle room or they felt as though they didn't have a choice so the message I get for some of you is like this person felt like as though they didn't have a choice but to pull away from you or they feel like they didn't have a choice but to let go of you it's like they were forced they believe that they were forced to do what they had to do because it's like they didn't have a option or they didn't have a choice they, like there was no clear path for them here some of you you may have also been in an abusive relationship or maybe i'm picking this up around this person's energy so maybe they had unfortunately been involved in abusive relationships or grew up in like an abusive environment and as a result i feel like that really impacted them negatively and i feel like this person this is why i'm getting that victim mentality right it kind of makes sense um I feel like there may have been help that was offered to you or to this person, but I don't feel like this person was open to getting the help. Or I don't know if you guys were open to getting the help here. It feels like this person felt very trapped or very limited in some way. And I don't feel like this person would have realized that if only they took off the blindfold, they could easily escape their predicament. So... Had you stayed, I feel like they would have continued to play out this behavior. I feel like maybe this person was prone to depression or, you know, had some really negative self-limiting beliefs here. I don't think this is someone who took personal accountability for their actions. And it's it's sad because I feel like they had a lot of they have a lot of issues here. So they always felt like, you know, things were happening to them rather than for them, or that it was always, you know, it was never their fault. And it just outside influences have unfortunately impacted them. So I also feel like your person was very confused here about whether or not that they should stay or they should go here. 
The star card tells me that your person does need to heal. I'm seeing that there uh, needs to be healing, a healing energy here with the star card. And I feel like, I don't know if they were open here. I don't know if they were open. I feel like they need to look had you stayed together I feel like your person needed to or if it's not your person then it's definitely you okay take it as it resonates with you but someone he definitely needed to work on themselves and create a more loving and caring relationship with themselves because the relationships you have with yourself sets the tone for all future relationships and I feel like this person suffers from self-love and doesn't have doesn't give them enough love doesn't give themselves enough love and attention and, and as a result you know, this is, they always end up in these circumstances, these unfortunate set of circumstances here. So I do feel like, I mean, you guys have definitely crossed paths for a reason. It feels like you guys were definitely destined to meet. I feel like everything happens for a reason in life. And, you know, the, the people that are, that are meant to reach you in your life will reach you in divine timing. But I feel like the two of you really helped each other because I feel like somehow you were both a blessing in each other's life. And I feel like you will cross paths to maybe illuminate something about each other about one another or just about love or relationships in general it's almost like i don't know if you or this person has re like on some level kind of like renewed or restored a sense of faith or a sense of hope here um so i feel like there was definitely a strong purpose that the two of you had to connect to me it feels like it's for personal growth or for personal development here as well i mean with both the star and the magician it feels like it feels like there's some sort of magic flowing around you, okay? And I feel like someone's he, someone's heart was full of hope, but I also feel like someone he was so scared for, you know, scared to step outside of the comfort zone and scared to embrace change. And as a result, I feel like this connection would not have, because of that, you know, strong sense of being afraid, that was, that connection would not have elevated. So I also get the message, this person is still waiting for you. Or are you waiting? They're right here waiting for you or you're still waiting for them. That's, that's a message that comes through for some, some of you. I mean, the magician does tell me that there may be an opportunity to still connect with this person, guys. Um, that there may be an opportunity to still connect here. So even if you guys think, oh no, you know, th this is it. There's some sort of... You don't understand. I feel like the universe here will conspire to maybe bring the two of you back together or for your paths to cross. And look, for some of you, you might not necessarily go back and enter a relationship with this person. But I feel like for one way or another, you still there's something here that still needs to be done. It's like unfinished business or it's something here that still needs to manifest within the connection here. Um, I mean, both the star and the magician tell us that there's a major like life force at work here I feel like you know if this person I feel like if this person would have healed some of their wounds I honestly feel like you could have manifested a lot of abundance and prosperity with this person and I feel like if they weren't so closed off as well because for some of you I did I am picking up that you were dealing with a person who wasn't necessarily sure okay the eight of swords tells me that they're a little bit confused and the page of swords tells me that you know maybe they were always at war with their head and their heart and they were never really able to they were never really able to sort of evaluate their feelings for you or what it is that they wanted from this connection it feels like they were at conflict and maybe it's because as I'm picking up the energies, like this person was really scared. I feel like they were really scared to open up and be, you know, very vulnerable here. I feel like, I mean, there's a lot of swords and weapons and I feel like they would have something about this person or something about this connection would have gone on to keep hurting you here. There may have, there may have been an opportunity for the two of you to work together with the eight of pentacles because this is a you know this is a fix it card repairing salvaging working on or working through any uh, obstacles or any issues that need addressing in the connection so you may have had an opportunity to work thing to work through things but I'm, 
given that all the swords here, you know, you've got the Eight of Swords, which is victimhood and it's restriction by circumstance. You've got the Page of Swords and it's sort of like this, you know, it's this, I feel like it's an energy that's very scattered and not able to make up their mind. It's also someone who is not, who doesn't conform to tradition. And I feel like this person, I don't know that they were ready for a relationship or I don't know that they were willing to label, like to give it a label or a title to it. And the Knight of Swords tells me that was there a lot of mental aggression here? I don't know if this person was someone who lashed out a lot or if this is someone who you've had a lot of fights and disagreements with and you guys just didn't see eye to eye a lot. So I feel like there were a lot of things, a lot of factors that needed working on that in the connection. And if the two of you actually not only had you worked on the relationship, but if also had you worked on it like yourselves individually, the relationship surely would have benefited from this. But Honestly, I just feel like given the swords energy, this person was just too hurt and I feel like they were too scared to confront that pain and that hurt to themselves. And to me, it just feels like, in a sense, because pain is all they ever knew. So I don't know if they ever grew, if they did grow up in like an abusive environment or if they, it just feels like this person was very hurt or wounded, even from an early age or early on in life and it feels like pain kind of is normalized for them so for them when they enter into relationships they expect the pain and the heartbreak with that because to them pain is a normality so I feel like your person had a lot of wounds that festered and unfortunately it feels like if they didn't heal any of those wounds that this relationship would have continued to stagnate it would not have gone any further than it did but had this person, you know, really sat with their pain and had they healed this pain and had they made peace with the past here, I feel like you guys could have manifested a very beautiful union, okay? Yes, you guys were different. Yes, you guys, you know, didn't always see eye to eye. But if you guys just spoke with one another, and as, as I've said, if those energies, you know, were more healing, then I feel like you guys could have had a, you know, a very wonderful relationship. Okay, guys, and on that note, this is your reading. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, or sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. For those of you interested in personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.